Hey everybody, this is Gregory from DAP University. So in this video, we're talking about ICOs or initial coin offerings. We're gonna be talking about what you need in order to pull off an initial coin offering and also some strategy about how you can pull off a successful ICO. So before we do that, be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and click the like button down below. That really helps these videos get found so that more people can learn how to build blockchain technology. So Let's talk about what you need in order to build an ICO. And actually here up on my screen, I have a project pulled up. So this is actually a website that I built. Um, it's live on the web right now for an ICO called ContraCoin, which is trying to do real estate on the blockchain. So I'm gonna tell you, you know, kind of what all is involved with a package like this, like what you need in order to pull this off. And also, you know, some strategy about how to do this well and do this successfully. And if you stick around, I'll actually give you a tour of the website and see everything that we built and kind of show you the features of a really nice looking uh, ICO so that's actually in production. So let's talk about what you need in order to build an ICO. You know, so first and foremost, you need a token. And I think a lot of people know this. I get emails a lot about people asking me to build them tokens. Um, and actually, if you want to email me, you can. My email is gregory at dappuniversity.com. You can check the description down below for that email address. Um, and if you're interested in building an ICO or something like that or a token, you can feel free to reach out. Um, so yeah, a lot of people ask me to build them tokens, but you know, you need a lot more than a token in order to pull off a successful ICO. You know, you need more smart contracts, you need a way to distribute the token, um, like a pre-sale or a crowd sale or even an airdrop. But if you're gonna hold an ICO, you need those smart contracts, but you also need, you know, like a KYC user registration portal. You need a way to register users so that you can whitelist them in your crowd sale. And you also need a really nice looking ICO website like this one. You know, you need a website that people trust when they go see it. So they actually wanna to contribute to their project and buy your token. So I'm gonna show you all three pieces of the puzzle today um, about what you need in order to build an ICO. I'll show you the website. I'll show you the user registration side of things. And also like the admin area where we can whitelist people and you know, allow them to contribute to the crowd sale on the blockchain. So those are the three things that you need. And let's talk about you know, how to do this successfully because there's a lot of stuff that you need in order to pull off an ICO. You, know, you need a lot of technical stuff, everything that I just mentioned. And it's a lot of work. There's a lot that you need to do in order to build all this stuff. And so whenever people you know, are coming to me talking about building ICOs, I almost always advise them to start with the pre-sale strategy. So what does that mean? So basically an ICO pre-sale is a different way of raising funds rather than a crowd sale. And I'll explain why. You know, normally in like a crowd sale, you're trying to, you know, just mass market your ICO and get people to, you know, contribute. You're trying to get a, a lot of investment from a lot of different people. A pre-sale strategy is different, right? And so like in the ICO, a lot of times like people will contribute tokens and like there's a, there's a hard cap and a soft cap and basically they wanna cross a certain threshold like Kickstarter before their project is funded successfully and they actually like get the funds and they issue the tokens. So a pre-sale strategy, at least the kind that I typically advise towards is uh, simpler than that. And you know, the pre-sale basically, you can set it to where all the funds go directly to you um, and you're not necessarily, you know, worried about the project, like, uh, you know, reaching its fundraising goal initially. So, I mean, this is a riskier strategy for investors, but you're typically talking about early stage investors who you know personally um, and, you know, can network with over like, you know, telegram groups. They can just wire you funds and things like that. And you can just mint them tokens or issue them tokens, you know, on an individual basis. So that's a strategy to advise people towards a lot. And here's why. You can get those funds fast and then use those funds for more expensive parts of the ICO process, like building out extra you know, infrastructure for your ICO, technical infrastructure, uh, you know, marketing your ICO, getting you know, fancy assets like videos, explainer videos, and other things like that. That's a lot of stuff that you know, costs a lot extra when you're building an ICO. And if you can do some pre-sale fundraising in order to fund the rest of the project, it's a lot easier to pull that off. And so that's a strategy I've used with a lot of my clients recently. And that's actually something we're doing on this project right here. So let me kind of just give you a tour of you know, what we worked on and show you, you know, stuff that really turned out well on this ICO website. And so I'll just show you this website first. Um, so yeah, it looks really nice. You know, we got a designer to do all this custom for us. 
Um, you know, we kind of got this, you know, custom graphic up top, looks really nice, uh, with the Ethereum logo and stuff like that. You know, people can, uh, sign up for the pre-sale by entering their email address and, you know, hop in on the email list. Um, it's got this really nice kind of hero section that explains you know, like what their project's about. And yeah, this site is uh, pretty snappy. It performs well. We built it in React.js. Um, you know, it's the latest kind of tech and, uh, I, I really happy with how it turned out. We've got, you know, some sections that explain, you know, the project, um, more custom graphics and things like that. Uh, got this explainer video um, where it actually explains about the ContraCoin platform. I actually did this video, so if you watch it, it's uh, it's me doing the um, explanation. And yeah, we've kind of got these cool uh, kind of call out sections that, you know, summarize the project and things like that. Um, we got a couple roadmaps on here that show, you know, what the projected um, you know, progress of the project is and things like that. Um, and also we got some token details. So we've got this, you know, token distribution. You know, it shows the token allocation, basically how many are going to investors in the ICO versus the reserve tokens and the founders and the partners and things like that. Um, you know, the total supply of the tokens. It's also got the allocation of proceeds. This is going to be the amount of uh, ether, you know, that's raised in the crowd sale, where that's going to go, like the uh, research and development, the operations, marketing, legal, et cetera, et cetera. We've got a cool graphic that talks about the ecosystem they're actually going to build on the blockchain in order to, uh, you know, buy and sell real estate and, you know, create this, you know, uh, marketplace that's powered by smart contracts. That's pretty cool, too. You can check out their white paper um, and read all about that. You can download it, browse through. You can see uh, info about their partners and then their team. You know, we've got a team section that's got a lot of uh, experienced people behind the project and kind of showcasing them. And we've also got uh, some FAQs, more info about the token, and other sign-up. So yeah, this is a really good site. I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's a good high converting uh, website that you know, gets people to trust the project and things like that. And if you click through uh, to the buy tokens section, you can actually go see the KYC registration portal where you can uh, participate in the crowd sale by registering. So now I'll walk you through the uh, KYC portion of the website. Again, KYC stands for know your customer. And this is the part of the website that basically allows, you know, investors to register for the crowd sale. And what that does for the crowd sale holder is it, you know, creates a way for uh, them to basically capture investor information like uh, you know their their name their country of origin you know the Ethereum address and their ID and once they have captured their information they're able to do ID verification checks to make sure that they actually want to whitelist this person for the crowd sale and that's what this KYC registration portal is so uh, I've got this pulled up this is just a local copy um, I'm not actually going to register for, for the production crowd sale I'll just do a development version on my uh, local machine here so I'll walk you through this you know first basically they enter you know, the first name uh, last name their email we'll do a password and they'll also provide their ethereum address you know this is the address they'll use to uh, whitelist the investor on the blockchain so I'm just gonna copy my ethereum address here from metamask and we'll do an ether amount um, well select a country and now we can actually upload our id so i'm just going to choose an id here all right now i've chosen an id and i will uh, accept the terms and i'll sign up and then once i've signed up uh we'll get this page that basically says you need to uh confirm the email address so that will uh, just send you an email and they'll confirm their account and whenever they do uh they'll come back to the website and they'll actually see this contribution page once they log in so once the investor has registered and has you know been whitelisted and their account's been confirmed and everything um they'll see this page and this is the part of the website you know part of the kyc registration area where um they can actually contribute to the crowd sale. Like I said, this is after an admin has basically reviewed their account and has you know, whitelisted them on the blockchain. And once they've been whitelisted, they can see this. So it's got some step-by-step -step instructions about how to contribute to the crowd sale. Um, basically, you know, this investor will send Ethereum, you know, Ether, to a smart contract, a pre-sale smart contract, and that pre-sale smart contract will issue them tokens. In this case, it's, you know, ContraCoin tokens. So basically, you know, the investor can see the address that they've signed up with, and this is their Ethereum address. And then basically, they sort of determine how many tokens they want to purchase in the crowd sale. Um, we can see that, you know, this crowd sale is in the private pre-sale phase, and there's a, a bonus of tokens. They get 30% extra. It incentivizes, you know, the investor to contribute now rather than later because they get more tokens. Um, and they do some quick calculations. 
on you know how much uh, how many tokens they'll receive based on you know their contribution amount. So if they contribute 100 US dollar, you know that's equal to 1.16 ether at the time of recording this video, and that would get them like 130 tokens. And et cetera, et cetera. You know, if they contribute $1,000, $10,000. Um, so yeah, they basically make their contribution. Um, and then they would uh, check the you know, phases that'll show them like, you know, when the rates are going to change and things like that. Um, and then they are able to see the smart contract address down here. Now, this is not the real smart contract address, you know, for the actual crowd sale. You have to register for that crowd sale in order to know that information. Um, this is just my local copy. So if you send Ether to this <laughs> address in real life, this is actually just my wallet address, so don't do that. Uh, we can if you want to, but just know that you're not getting an ICO. You're not getting any tokens. <laughs> so anyways, so if I wanted to contribute to this crowd sale, in this case, I would just like copy this address, open MetaMask, and um, you know, create a transaction. I'll basically just you know send Ether, um, I paste in the smart contract address, and I would uh, say you know like you know let's just say two Ether. I'll say U.S. dollar amount. I'll say a hundred, right? Hundred dollars would be eighty-five ETH, and I click next, and I would just uh, send it. But I'm not going to you now because um, I don't want to actually contribute. <laughs> but anyways, that's how you know, an investor contributes to this crowd sale. And this is an idea of what this would look like uh, for an investor to register and you know interact with this crowd sale. So this is the back office area where you know an admin can actually go in and see you know who's registered for the crowd sale. Again, this is just some uh, development data. This is not the real crowd sale back office. This is just my local copy. Um, so we can see, you know, different investors who have registered here. You can go uh, actually look at the investor and like see uh, their name, their email, their Ethereum address, their pledge amount. You can see the ID that they, you know, submitted. <laughs> it's a fake ID. Uh, I'll let you guess what movie this is from. <laughs> and, you know, they can make decisions on whether they want to whitelist this person or not. And, you know, once they make those decisions, uh, they can approve them like this. Click the approve button. You can see the investor was approved. Um, and then we can actually add them to the whitelist like this. Got to whitelist, all right. And once that happens, uh, the investor will get an, an email notification letting them know they've been whitelisted and can now contribute in the crowd sale. Um, we actually got some batch actions in here as well. We can like bulk approve these. We can, uh, let's see here. Let's see, approve the selected, right? We see they're approved. We can also uh, batch, um, whitelist selected, right? And we also filter through investors and search them and things like that. We can see only the ones uh, that have been approved and things like that. Also download a CSV of all the investors um, so that if you want to use that for your own records and you know show your uh, KYC contributions and things like that, it's a really, 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 really nice, powerful tool. And so that's a way of handling the KYC process, how you can actually manage user registrations and you know vet, you, vet uh, investors who are going to contribute in the crowd sale and you can you know make decisions on who gets to invest and who doesn't. And you know there's a whole other side to this, which is actually handling the whitelist capability with the smart contracts on the blockchain. And that's a service that I offer for a lot of my uh, clients who you know do ICOs is like smart contract administration and things like that. Actually, you know, handling the whitelisting process and moving funds around and, and dealing with you know just sensitive data on the blockchain. So that's an overview of the KYC registration process. And, you know, the back office things like that. Um, yeah. So if y'all are interested in building something like this, feel free to reach out to me. You know, my email address is down in the description below, which is Gregory at DAPUniversity.com. Um, yeah, so I've been able to provide this service for a good number of clients who've been really happy with their projects. Um, and I'd love to build something for you. You know, I've got different packages available for building ICOs, you know, with websites, KYC registration, smart contracts, pre-sale contracts, crowd sale smart contracts, tokens, things like that. There's a lot of stuff I can do. I also do a lot of blockchain advising for, um, you know, clients and things like that. So if y'all are interested, again, just drop me a line. I uh, hope y'all like this video. Be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And and click the like button down below. It really helps these videos get found so that more people can learn how to build blockchain technology. And until the next time, thanks for watching DAP University.